Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Maze Troll. If you have suggestions for future videos, or if there's something special you want to see, be sure to let me know down in the comments. This video comes from a viewer request. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the TPS button. The TPS button stands for Tool Path Store. This button allows you to stop the machine in the middle of a turning process in order to change the insert. The machine will pick up where it left off instead of starting the process over from the very beginning. This is helpful if you're roughing out a large workpiece and the cycle time is 30 minutes long for one operation and the insert needs to be changed mid-process. All right, let's get started. All right, in order to show you this, I've modified a previous program, and I'm going to take uh, small depths of cut without coolant to show you what's going on in the machine. So let's hit cycle start, and let's run through the program a little bit. So auto, start. Now we're getting into the meat, so I'm going to hit feed hold right now. So push feed hold, and then after that, push the manual button, the handle button, and that's going to stop the spindle. And then what you do is you push TPS right now, and it lights up. So now move the tool, it was cutting in the Z direction, move the tool back in the Z direction at least 50 thousandths on the first line. So now we push TPS a second time. This stores the position of the tool now move X in the up direction. Push TPS again. Now move it in the Z direction. And then push TPS one last time. So now we can go in, change the insert, and then close the door push auto and then push cycle start and the machine is going to rapid to the last TPS position rapid down and then it's going to feed in the last line and we're picked up where we left off And now it's doing the finish pass. And we're done roughing the part. So again, with the TPS, you push it, then move the machine, push it again, move the machine up out of the part, push it again, and then move it over. You must do at least three times with the TPS. 
and the first line has to be at least 50 thousandths or one millimeter in order for it to register that first move. And that's how to use the TPS button on this machine. If you like what you see, go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Also, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.